But I think, uh, hey man, Young Dolph update, like and subscribe, man. I'm the one to see the first, bro. That nigga Young Dolph had some paid and fool shit going on. How, the nigga, the nigga, it was a nigga that it was in his camp that had a brother that was in another camp that was against his camp. Now y'all, y'all need to start thinking about this, bro. Like y'all need to goddamn, hey man, the less people you fuck with. It's better, bro. That that was some paid and full shit. That nigga got killed by one of his partners, bro. I don't give a damn what nobody say. He got killed by somebody that was hating on him, and he would have gave ass anything they want to have. Because when you see all this shit, these niggas talking about all these bloggers talking about AK-47, da 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 bro. It, bro, he was killed by his partners, bro. He had to be killed by his people. It's always somebody y'all you know, bro. Every time a nigga die, there's a... I just look, if you go look at DJ Flat paid in full, paid in full interview with the nigga, with the nigga that actually, that played the nigga that was in the cleaner, bro, y'all need to go look at the damn interview. Y'all need to stop what y'all doing and go look at, go look at all the old king pins and shit. When they asked that nigga, they said, was it worth it? The nigga ain't paid the fool now, nigga. I know he used to make and pay the fool. They were making millions, cars, all type of shit. They asked that nigga, was it worth it? Guess what he said? He said, if I could take that shit all back, I would have stayed my ass at the cleaners. 